What's happening guys? I'm Dean. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're breaking down more Arvon beer. Here it is, another hazy IPA with great can art. Arvon has completely mastered their can art. They've gotten a lot better by doing collaboration. So artwork by Kevin Sturgeo. So on the side, shout out to him. They, they shout him out, so I like that. A hazy IPA clocking in at 7%. We have Rewaka and Citra hops as the main driver in this recipe. And again, you can see it guys, full of hops is the name today. So we are going to break it down, investigate in our hashtag proper glassware. Uh, and we're gonna see what this is all about at about $4.99 for a can of this. So that is the typical Arvon range. You're gonna see sometimes $4.99, $5.99, $6.99 for some larger ABV beers. Um, <laughs> It's worth every penny in my humble opinion and i mean that uh, my store sells a lot of arvon beer so that is why i'm so heavy on the reviews from them guys and they just make world class stuff let's not forget about it so as we pour she's kind of that like lighter kind of dull yellow as i pour it you know it's not that deep oj as i as i pour the thick viscous beer it was a little bit lighter but it is still seven percent uh and we're going to see how we turn out so we've got again this lighter end of the spectrum still looks like oj if you ask me uh pretty good carbonation stream at the top bright white head pretty dense pretty bubbly pretty thick pretty soapy yeah very soapy actually as i look at this um and let's get this aroma going here guys so uh if you're watching this i'm probably pre monster Indiana trip. So I, I've been trying to get some reviews out today as fast as I can. I've got a lot of Arvon beers in my arsenal. So that is why I'm trying to rip these reviews out. I try to get them to you as fast as possible. It's just my MO, it's my, it's my duty uh, on poor Michigan reviews. So uh, let's dive in. Such a weird smell. Grassy, herbal, almost smells dank for a moment. Bright, stone fruity, peachy, pineapple. Rowaka throwing me through a loop a little bit. I feel like I, I don't know what I get from this sometimes. Uh, it just smells kind of like different. It smells like a different form of citrus. It just smells kind of like a rubbery citrus. I don't know how to explain it. But it's, it, the citrus there, but I don't know if it's like super heavy citra. You know, sometimes you get that cat pissy kind of, a Sauvignon Blanc thing, I'm not getting that here. I'm, uh, new age beers kind of smell different than they used to. The Rowaka kind of throw me through a loop. I get a little bit of like melon. I get a little bit of uh, 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 clean citrus, but again, that kind of like burnt rubbery kind of feel. I don't know, it's, it's not an insult. It's just, it's my description of sometimes what it brings to the table. It smells almost like a little heavy boozy on the back end too, only 7%. I don't know, I'm not getting a, a ton of like great descriptors out of the nose, so I'm just gonna dive in, guys. Uh, full of hops, cheers. Ooh. Almost tastes like spicy, like spicy floral. Um, almost like a rye spice, it's weird. It's, it's green, it's hoppy, um, feels young. I say that about a lot of Arvon beers. Like I feel like sometimes it like just comes out of the tank prematurely. It, it gives me that kind of vibe, uh, but it, it tastes like spicy floral citrus. I get some like kind of dank grapefruit, oily grapefruit, uh, this like zesty lemon lime kind of thing going on. Um, tropical, but very subdued, very generalized uh, tropical notes on the back end. Sugary pine cone, uh, so the grass, the the earthy, kind of grainy cereal coming out. It feels uh, just a touch heavy through the middle at 7%. It feels a little bit bigger than that, but I don't know if it's just like this gritty, grainy, uh, uh, just citrus grass that's sticking out quite a bit. I feel like it's got some like oily citrus. Um, it feels a little bit more chewy than it should at 7%, but I don't know if it's just like almost this spicy rye kind of floral thing that it's given off. <laughs> Maybe that's from young, green, herbaceous hops. Like, I just feel like, it, it, again, young out of the tank, it, you can feel the youngness of this beer, the freshness of those hops. Uh, and it just feels almost like, the best descriptor is like spicy, like almost almost like a rye spice mixed with like a hoppy floral back end. 
Um, it, it's good. I don't know if it's like my absolute favorite Arvon beer, but it is super drinkable at 7%. It's got a nice hoppy touch to it. It's got a nice bit of like citrus, uh, maybe a touch of melon here, like a, like a cantaloupe uh, or, or like a honeydew rather. I get like a, I get like a honeydew and uh, green dianju pear to be oddly specific. You know, sometimes I can I can give these descriptors because I work in a produce department. I work in own a grocery store with my family. Uh, I, I deal with these fruits every day, so it reminds me a lot of like uh, juicier honeydew and a little bit of like drier to juicy green dianju pear. Um, and then I'm still getting like this slick, oily uh, grapefruit, just kind of this dank viscous oily grapefruit in the middle um it's it's a good beer like i feel like the more i drink it the better it's warming up to me uh, and my palate seems to enjoy it more as i drink it yeah it's just again more oily slick grapefruit a little bit of navel orange a little bit of zesty lemon lime uh, and again i get this like honeydew a slight passion fruit, slight uh, a green D'Anjou pear. Tropical notes, very subdued, very generalized on the back end. But yeah, that, that the more I drink this, that cantaloupe slash more dominant is that honeydew in this beer. Really just hitting my palate in a nice way. Um, but again, pretty hoppy, pretty bitter, pretty dry and floral. Just a touch of that green spice on the back end. Uh, I like it. I like it, but I don't know if it's my absolute favorite Arvon beer, but it's still very delicious at the end of the day we're splitting hairs it's world-class stuff uh maybe ruwaka just not my favorite hop type for whatever reason oily pithy a little bit of that a little bit of hot burn yeah uh how about we do this a uh, four out of five that's where i stand we're talking about beers that are like on my lower end of the list four out of five is that really that bad at the end of the day geez oh pete's arvon that's what happens when you're world class we split hair, so four out of five, guys. It's been the full of hops, and you can feel it on this one. Hits you pretty good in the jaw, so cheers, pros, yamas. Till next time, see you on the next one. It's Poor Michigan Reviews.